Welcome to El Pro's Garage and in today's video we're actually going to be showing you guys what is seemingly the impossible car deal. So in, in the garage right now I have a car that I purchased for less than a thousand bucks that isn't a rolling chassis and it is this thing right here. You see it's a Cadillac and yeah I bought this thing for like 800 bucks. And uh, that seems kind of impossible, especially in 2022 with all like the logistical problems, chip shortages, you know, an entire car ship going up in flames. But as you can see, I purchased a not rolling chassis car for 800 bucks. In fact, I'll prove it to you. I have the title over here. Let's see. We're going to cover up some information. As you can see. I bought it the 16th of February 2022 for 800 bucks. So clearly, I didn't fake that because I can't write that nicely. But as you can see, we have an actual car that's 800 bucks. So before you start commenting that, oh, this is probably doesn't run because there's a North Star in it. Actually, I'll prove to you it does. I'm going to actually drive it out of the garage out here into the driveway and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the car. Okay, guys, so here's the car, and uh, at least one of you is going to probably be complaining about why am I raving so much about a $800 car here. Well, actually, it's because everything seems to have been, you know, dramatically inflated, and it's just impossible to find anything that's reasonably priced anymore. And, you know, right here, we have this black-on-black -black 99 Seville. It's actually an STS, by the way. So it's not a base model. And I'll show you real quick the interior. So actually not horrible you know, let's see as you can see the seats not even ripped it's just cracked but yeah it's not a big deal you could use a quick little cleanup but it's actually not looking too bad in here and uh let me show you the best part about this car i'm gonna just go in here got the keys that right there is 90,000 miles for a 99 seville <laughs> it was 800 bucks i told you like you know when you have a driving car that actually drives and doesn't look completely horrible i think you've already won like just you know and then you tack this on and i think you really do have something special here in your hands now obviously this car does actually need some work and here i'll prove to you that it does actually drive we're gonna go on a quick little drive here now it doesn't run super well And that's honestly not a big deal. I can fix that myself, you know. Not a big deal. We'll probably throw some plugs, you know. We're gonna do an oil change, get it all, uh, get it all serviced up. But you know, here I'll show you the first problem with it is right here. There's no power steering. I have to kind of muscle it the whole way. Okay, let's see if I don't scrape. Oh yeah, and the belly pan's also just drooping down. So. Yeah. Uh, come on. I'm gonna crash into the van. Maybe. Hold on. This is dumb. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. There's somebody coming here. Do, 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 do. There we go. So let's see. Can I do it this time? Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Oh, that was a workout. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it drives. It's not perfect by any means. That, that'd be ridiculous to assume that it, this $800 car would be perfect, but I mean, it's not bad though. Look at this. A running 99 North Star with low miles. It's also black on black, which is freaking cool. Now, I do believe that these 99s are a little more common to find them in black and black configurations, but you know, 
the fact that I bought one for 800 bucks, I'm, I'm freaking happy. Like, I sort of still can't believe that it happened. Like, actually, because everything that, uh, in the Facebook listing from where I bought this from indicated that this was one of those scam listings. Now, if you don't know, if you're not aware of Facebook Marketplace, they have a lot of these, like, scam listings where they put, like, really nice-looking cars in the pictures. And, uh, it's 800 bucks. Well, they put, like, a price, like, a thousand bucks or something. And claim that the car, you know, they don't want it, and they give you an email address to get you off Facebook Marketplace. That way they can scam you with no repercussions. This car actually sort of seemed that way at first because, you know, low price. It was not super horrible. And it was super low. It was like a really low price. So that kind of probably turned a bunch of people off. This car was listed for approximately three days before I came in and bought it. And part of the reason what made me think this was legit was that there was actually a picture of the license plate in the vehicle uh, proving that this was in fact like, you know, a legitimate car. And it was owned by a older gentleman and this is basically was his church car. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away like two months ago. So, you know, kind of an unfortunate situation on how I got this car, but nonetheless, it's 800 bucks. And there's my other project, White DeVille. <laughs> Oh man, this is getting really hard to steer. <sighs> yeah, so the first order of business is obviously to freaking fix the power steering pump since, you know, it's very obviously broken. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's obviously broken. And we need to address that. But as you can see, yeah, the car runs. It's a real car. Oh, the radio's playing. But yeah, let's go over here give you a quick tour of the outside so yeah unfortunately the seller removed the listing so I can't show you prove to you that this was like kind of a sketchy looking listing for this car we have some like cosmetic imperfections right here you know somewhere here a lot of the stuff I do believe will buff out like even this this is just surface oxidation I believe it'll buff out though but look at that fender's not too bad there's a little a little bit of stuff going on here, but 800 bucks. You can't complain. This is sagging, but easy fix. We'll just get another one. It's got the sunroof. It does actually work too, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if it doesn't leak, but you know, that's kind of a different issue. And we'll find that out when next time it rains or when it snows again, because it was snowing for the last two weeks when I bought this car. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's not actually in horrible condition some oxidation but a lot of this i feel will actually buff out so yeah there you go uh can you buy an 800 dollar car in 2022 the answer is yes you can but it's freaking almost impossible i haven't seen listings like this uh for ever since i bought this car so let's pop the trunk here obviously i already got some parts ready to go here just to go ahead and uh start making this a little less of a you know a hoopty as Tyler would say Tyler Hoover but anyways guys this was a quick tour of the 99 Seville and I hope you enjoyed it and we're probably gonna make a first video on how to fix stuff on this car so anyways see you guys next time peace